Welcome to today's 3D print and filament Friday. As per the suggestion of my CCU, he said it would be better if I called it filament Friday. So what the hell, I'll call it filament Friday. This is a surprise. I don't know who makes it, I guess silver, that's the seller on Amazon. Um, I have a affiliate links in the bottom here. Let's see if I make any money on that, right? <laughs> I doubt it'll ever be enough to really do anything, but hey, I'll try. Um, just, you know, Full disclosure, they are affiliate links, and I have no idea what, if anything, I'll get. Um, I bought this on a Lark because it was eleven ninety nine, eleven ninety nine for an entire kilogram roll. It's only available in two colors, black and white. I am so impressed with it that after printing with it today, I went online and bought two more rolls of white and another and a roll of black to try out. Sometimes black prints differently than white. We'll see. And um, they'll be delivered tomorrow. <laughs> 35 bucks for three kilograms of plastic, and they'll be here tomorrow, Monday. I ordered it just 20 minutes ago. Um, so it's some, I guess it's some cheap no name filament, but it's it doesn't suck. It's got a decent cool white color, like a neutral white. Um, it's, it's flexible, it's not brittle. So, you know, you gotta bend it back and forth a few times to break it. There it goes. Okay, so it's not like brittle. Uh, for example, on Repcord, PLA is extremely buttery smooth, but it's very brittle. Um, parts don't hold together very well, although they look great for decorative parts. It's wonderful cheap filament. So that's all it says. It says 195, 210. I print at 215. I do all my prints at 215. That's just what I use. One moment, I gotta change something on my printer here. The temperature went down, and I don't like that. Get back up there 215 so let's look at some of the prints these are my three test prints that i use for all of my testing for my filament okay i have first up a solid print this is a little marvin if i can get it to focus there we go an itty bitty little marvin the layers are absolutely fantastic they are smooth the overhangs are great. First layer is buttery smooth. No stringing, no hair, no nothing. Although a lot of that's printer settings, but the filament can also influence that. That's my little Marvin. I like printing a Marvin. Because it's something I don't mind hanging on to when I'm done with it. <laughs> He's a cute little Marvin. Up next is a um, relatively complex vase print. So there's lots of details in the model. The layer lines are actually pretty damn hard to see. And it's watertight, although that's more printer setting than filament. But if a filament has inconsistencies, it'll never be watertight. This is as it came off the printer. I've done nothing to it. No cleanup, no nothing. And it's pretty strong. I mean, that's not bad for a cheap PLA. I crack it? Yep, I cracked it. Took a heck of a force. I had to permanently dent it to crack it. And this is a single layer phase print. Very good bonding and it did not break cleanly. It broke um, haphazardly, which means the layer bonding was very, very good. Not freaking bad. And for a, and here's the inside. No issue, and it's only two layers. That's only two bottom layers. You can see it's translucent. And then I printed, of course, the Vern style rocket. Make sure we're in focus here. White is notoriously difficult to focus on. I might actually have too much light. Let me get rid of some light. There we go, that's a little better. So there is the Vern style rocket. Again, strong, flexible. It doesn't just crack and come apart. It's actually holding up really well. I'm really, really impressed with that. Cheap PLAs tend to really suffer when you do this. They just come apart. But very nice. The details are beautiful. I mean, come on. It's $12 a kilogram, prime shipped. Look at that. Bottom layer. I'm blown away. I'm... 
I might buy another four or five kilograms of this just to keep on hand for generic cheap test printing. I mean, it handles temperatures fine. Change in speed is fine. I jumped it 300% up here. It handled it just fine. No problems. Um, this was run at 125% flow rate. I like to make my vases a little thicker. This, I decided to screw it. Leave it at 100%. So this is thin. Very, very thin. And it held up great. I mean, what more can you say? I mean, it's, it's a white PLA, but it's a very, very good white PLA. When you print it denser, the color is actually a little warmer. You can see here, this has got a very cool color tone to it. But when you thicken it up and print more density, it takes on a slightly more neutral off-white color, which is nice. I actually like that. If I can get this thing to focus. Thank you. There it goes. Locked in. Good overhangs on the Marvin. No issues. No complaints. I'm really impressed. For $12, what more can you ask? Good quality prints. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you like it. More videos to come.